Hey everyone, just wanted to pop in today to give you a quick word about a very specific thought I had about Elden Ring's final boss battle that didn't necessarily warrant being, you know, some huge sprawling video. Now when you finally get back to the base of the Erd Tree to claim the title of Elden Lord, you are confronted by Radagon of the Golden Order. And as the battle starts, the main theme of Elden Ring finally returns. It's big, it's bold, it's triumphant. It's truly the music only a final boss could warrant. But then, you kill Radagon, and the game is not over. A new danger emerges, the Elden Beast. Now, lots of games and lots of composers might take this moment to punch up Radagon's final battle theme even further, maybe increasing the BPM, like the final lap music in each Mario Kart track, or maybe adding in a few new instruments for a new texture, or changing the key. But Elden Ring doesn't do that. Instead, Sukasa Saito's score moves in a much more delicate direction. The first thing you'll hear as the Elden Beast looms before you is a light plucking of strings, and then an ethereal voice singing a soft legato line over your frantic battle. Now this struck me as particularly audacious, but for me it totally worked. Using the main theme for Radagon's fight was logical for two reasons. Firstly, to act as a fake-out so that the Elden Beast reveal can be a big surprise. But secondly, because that's the kind of boss battle Radagon provides. Radagon attacks you with these big, beefy hits, hugely telegraphed before he does them. But when they hit, they hit hard, as though they are a physical manifestation of the huge horn blasts in the main theme. His attacks are deliberate and purposeful, just as the movements of the main theme's melody appear to be. But then, the Elden Beast is a whole different ball game. The Elden Beast seems to treat you, initially, almost like a curiosity. Its movements across the battlefield are elegant and fluid and like the music, and then, as the battle goes on, and the Elden Beast clocks you as a greater threat, the sound thickens. More voices join the choir, a string section comes in underneath, adding further weight and subtle intensity to the score. And I just thought this was so cool. And maybe it was the way the final battle was presented aesthetically on this huge, empty, watery battlefield beneath the shadow of myriad ever-looming Erd trees that my brain wondered if perhaps this moment was inspired by the end of Evangelion. I thought perhaps Saito was sonically inspired by Evangelion as well, but then I finally realized what exactly this final battle music reminded me of. And though not Evangelion itself, it was Evangelion adjacent, a score composed by Evangelion composer Shiro Sugisu, the score for Hideaki Anno's Shin Godzilla. In Shin Godzilla, the first time Godzilla truly unleashes his full fury on Tokyo, the score becomes this really quiet, melancholy thing. This track, titled Who Will Know, adds such weight to the scene, truly highlighting the sobering devastation Godzilla is capable of delivering. When I realized this, I continued then to wonder if, perhaps, Tsukasa Saito saw Elden Ring's Elden Beast as a Godzilla of his own. Godzilla historically has acted as a metaphor for nuclear weapons, acting in the original Ishiro Honda film as a stand-in for the American bombs that decimated Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Godzilla is a manifestation of nuclear power and nuclear fear, as the Elden Beast is the manifestation of the power of the Elden Ring. Both are the true form of these forces, if, if you will. And so, perhaps it makes some sense to view these two beasts in such similar light, creatures who inspire fear, yes, but also awe and reverence. Anyway, that's my little ramble about this one particular musical moment in Elden Ring. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, if you liked it, let me know, and I'll make more videos like this. Catch you next time.
I just had a dream that you didn't like, subscribe, and comment on our videos. Wouldn't that be a tragedy? You should do that so you always know when we have a new video out. Do it now. Good night.